Can you feel it? There is some good news on the horizon for one of the major cruise lines that is going to be back sailing in December. Now we're going to go through all of the updates for Royal Caribbean in this next video. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about Royal Caribbean and a little smidge of celebrity, which of course is part of the Royal Caribbean group. But we're going to be dealing mainly with three things. Firstly, we're going to talk about some very interesting news. Well, it has to do with the CDC, but I'll tell you about it in the video. Secondly, we're also going to be talking about, well, cruises that are restarting in Singapore. And finally, we're also going to be talking about the Royal Promise. And these are details that Royal Caribbean has shared on their social media, on their website about what cruising will be like. And they've really kind of handed us some specifics. Some I think you will like, they're awesome. Other things might be honestly a little bit controversial. So we'll be going through them as well as I'll be giving you a little bit of, well, background information that I did find out that I haven't really seen um, other people talk about. So, well, let's dive in to the video right now. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful or informative in any way, please do give the video a big thumbs up, a like. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get started. So first off, as you know, we are waiting to see if the CDC will lift that no sale order that is due to expire at the end of October. And of course, cruise lines need to plan. So if it's not lifted, well, it's it will just be hard for them to plan for cruises for December. So we have heard and it's been widely reported that Royal Caribbean has said they are expecting to hear from the CDC possibly next week with news that that no sale order will be lifted. Now, we don't know for sure. There's no guarantee. And what they have said is if it's not lifted, if they don't get that news, then they may have to postpone cruises even longer, which does make some sense. So fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, let's go on to the next point. So the Quantum of the Seas will be sailing officially starting in the month of December on December 1st in Singapore. They are going to be doing three to four night sailings and they are going to be round trip sailings. They're going to be basically cruises to nowhere and their maximum capacity is 50%. Now this was all worked out with the local government and they are complying with Singapore's cruise safe program. So we are looking to see how this goes, but this is how we have now heard from Royal Caribbean with their news of the Royal Promise and basically how this is going to work, what the protocols will look like on cruise ships. Now, something to keep in mind is that they do state that these protocols, these things on cruises may look different for different itineraries, different destinations, even different ships. So this may not be exactly what we'll see when cruises do resume in the United States or in other parts of the world, but this is what is happening now and it is widely publicized on their social media. So right now, this is what we know about how cruises are starting on Royal Caribbean. Now, some of those things will actually probably surprise you. They surprised me and other things are just really awesome. So let's go into those details and I want to know what you think of these things. I think it's quite important. So let's get into that. So the first thing is testing. Of course, like we've already heard, testing will be 100% for all passengers and crew going on a cruise, but how is it going to work? Well, between 48 hours and 72 hours, somebody has to have that test. Um, now, in terms of the cost, this is very interesting. Royal Caribbean will actually be covering the cost of these tests for cruises up till January 31st. So we don't know if this will continue or if this will be the case in other places, but this I thought was really something quite interesting. Now, what happens if somebody is denied boarding because of something COVID related? Well, basically you would get a future cruise credit of 100% yourself and your party. So finally, we have that question answered, at least for these cruises, people are covered if they are not allowed to board the ship, whether it's because they were in contact with somebody with this virus before the cruise, or if they arrived at the cruise ship and this is what happened. 
Now you might have heard me talk about this before in previous videos, but this is something that I just think is really important and it has to do with the air filtration on cruise ships. So there is completely a new HVAC system being put into all Royal Caribbean ships, not only this ship, but all of them. So this is awesome news for anybody sailing on Royal Caribbean. And very interestingly, what they're doing with the air filtration is they're bringing in fresh ocean air from one side of the ship. And so that will be used to cool and to circulate through the ship. And then the air is going to be circulated out of the other side of the ship, which is kind of interesting. So it will be exhausted right out. And that air will be, of course, fresh air on the ship. So even in the cabins, and it will actually be changed out 12 times an hour for cabins and 15 times an hour for public areas. So that air is, um, well, it's just going to be, uh, I guess, as fresh as it can be on a cruise. The cleaning on Royal Caribbean ships. Now, every time I talk about the cleaning on cruise ships, I always feel like I really should point out that cruise ships are really, really clean. And actually Royal Caribbean was our first cruise line that we ever sailed on. We've done eight Royal Caribbean cruises. We love Royal Caribbean. And to be honest, the ships have been pretty immaculate, but now they're going to be even cleaner. They just stepped that up, of course, like all of us have during this time. So the cleaners are all going to be hospital grade, even in the cabin. Something interesting is, for instance, the sheets are all going to be cleaned with uh, the most uh, efficient, the best detergents, and as well in very high temperatures, the linens, the uh, towels. So all of that is just going to be even better, even cleaner than before. And this is going to remain. So this is really good news for cruises going forward. Something else that's really good is we're going to see a lot less lines on cruise ships. Not only are they sailing at a reduced capacity, in this case, it's 50%. We don't know if that will continue on all ships, but this is the case now. But as well, people are going to have an app that we're asked to download on our phones. And they're really encouraging people as much as possible to bring smartphones for this reason. But instead of lining up in many places, we can have like virtual queues. So we're lining up using kind of our phone and then we'll be alerted when it's our turn. At the same time, we can order our food, we can order drinks from the app. We can even order room service from this app and it can be delivered where, well, things are pretty much touchless. So this is all something that is really good. Oh, and mustard drills. Mustard drills, well, that hasn't been something that many of us have really enjoyed. The experience has been crowded and squishy and long and it's on the first day and we're tired and grumpy and it's important though. So now we're going to have the e-muster, which is going to be the Muster 2.0 and that is of course going to be on our smartphone. So they'll let us know exactly how that's going to work, but that's the new muster drill for when we get started cruising again. So, so far, everything's been pretty much good news, but I do have some things that are a little bit surprising, I guess, coming up soon. First, let's talk about entertainment. The entertainment is going to continue. So all of the amazing bells and whistles we're used to with Royal Caribbean are going to continue. The outdoor activities, the indoor activities, there may be some changes, some of the things that are not going to remain for now are karaoke, but the other types of shows and even the zip lines and the flow riders, that's all going to continue. So what they are going to do is they're going to extend the hours of many things. They're going to make their shows, um, cause it's reduced capacity, it should be able to work out just fine. We're going to be able to physical distance. Your party can sit together, but you won't be close to other people. And if need be, they're just going to add additional shows. So this is really something good. The entertainment and the activities will definitely not suffer on your next Royal Caribbean cruise. So I saved this one a little bit towards the end. I still have a couple of more points, but I'm going to talk about this one now. And this is masks. Well, we know we have to wear masks on the cruises, at least for the next few months until this COVID situation is obviously much more under control. It's kind of part of our life right now. We've a lot of us accepted this uh, for now, but obviously we don't want to wear it all the time. So when we looked at cruises that were sailing in Europe, we saw when they were wearing it, when they weren't. And for many of us, we thought that is pretty tolerable. Well, on these Royal Caribbean cruises and what we're seeing from the documentation is that masks are required more often than I think I thought they would be required. I do hope, I'll be honest, I'm just going to say it, I do hope that this is for these sailings and that this will relax. I hope we get clarification from Royal Caribbean on this. 
Uh, but so far, this is what we see. So let me just tell you, masks are required uh, indoors and outdoors. Outdoors, not when that mask might get wet. So you don't need to wear a mask when you're swimming, when you're on a flow rider, when you're in a hot tub. But even on loungers, when they are socially distanced from what we see, and I will leave that information down in the description below because I want you to be able to click on it and see things for yourself. And of course, see things if they are updated. I will include that as well in the description. But even when loungers are separated, we will still have to wear our mask. Even when we're outside, we'll have to wear our mask. The exceptions are when you're eating, when you're drinking. As I mentioned in a previous video, there's only so much I can eat and drink. Um, and also when you are jogging. So when you're jogging, doing strenuous activities. So I don't know what the cruise is going to look like for me. But that is the situation. So I'd like to hear what you think of this. Please let me know your thoughts, your honest thoughts. If you think that maybe this is just for these cruises that are in Singapore and things will be very different when cruises are in the United States or elsewhere in the world. And again, when we've seen cruises in Europe on MSC, on Costa, even on Tui Mind Schiff, which is a sort of a partner brand uh, for Royal Caribbean group, we have not seen masks outdoors when people were able to be spaced apart, only sometimes. So let me know what you think, please, in the comments below. All right, let's go on to the Kids Club. The Kids Club is going to continue. So if you're sailing with kids, this is awesome. Now, there are a lot of precautions that are going to be taken. So, of course, the cleaning, um, some amount of capacity control, of course, but also kids are required to wear masks if they are over two years old. So let's go on to another one. Now, something else that they will have on this cruise ship on the Quantum of the Seas is they will have contact tracing. And this might be possible maybe on other ships as well. Maybe this is something that they can do with the app. I'm not really 100% sure how this works, but they do say that contact tracing will be able to work to see if you have been within six feet um, for more than 15 minutes of somebody who is diagnosed with this virus that you would be able to know about that. And of course, then they could take the necessary precautions. So this is all in accordance with the local authorities and with Singapore's Cruise Safe Certification Program. So those cruises are starting December 1st. So we are going to be watching this to see how things go. Now, just something to let you know, if you'd like to follow along and see what is going on, you may want to follow on Facebook, the Singapore Cruise Society. Just look that up for their page where they are posting updates of the quantum of the seas. Okay, so I promised you a little bit of celebrity news. And this is more like some news or a tidbit or a little bit of a rumor. And it is that Captain Kate, as she signed off from the Celebrity Edge, she has been on for a really long time now. So it's time for her vacation. She's going home for six weeks. And she did say on her social accounts, she said that she'll be going home for six weeks. And she is hopeful that when she returns, it will be time to sail again. She said no guarantees, but she is hoping that the CDC no sail order will be lifted at that point. So again, let's cross our fingers for that. Six weeks brings us right into early December. So that might be some good news coming this week. Now, please let me know what you think. First of all, let me know what you think if we're going to have some good news from the CDC this week or some bad news or no news. It could be any of it. And let me know what you think of the protocols, the Royal Promise by Royal Caribbean. Now, if you did like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and happy future cruising.